Hey everyone. Today, I'm diving into a topic that often buzzes around academic corridors, the battle between conceptual and empirical research. So if you've ever found yourself wondering about these terms during your studies, or just need a clear-cut explanation, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. First up, conceptual research. Imagine you're a philosopher or a deep thinker musing over vast abstract ideas or refining theories. That's your playground if you're into conceptual research. It's all about developing new concepts or reinterpreting existing ones without necessarily relying on physical data. Now, let's pivot to empirical research. This is where things get hands-on. Empirical research is based purely on observation and experience. Sounds straightforward, right? But here's the catch. It often disregards any system or theory initially. It's kind of like being a detective where you collect clues or data and see where they lead you, testing your hypotheses through actual experiments. Why does this matter? Well, in empirical research, you're not just sitting back and theorizing. You're out there setting up experiments, manipulating variables, and actively seeking evidence to support or debunk your hypotheses. It's research in action. So, when do you use each type? Conceptual research is fantastic for when you're in the realm of theory development. Think less tangible, more intellectual. On the flip side, empirical research is your go-to when you need concrete evidence to back up your theories. It's all about that solid proof through direct observation or experiments. In summary, while conceptual research sketches the theoretical blueprints, empirical research builds the actual structure with bricks of data and observation. Both are crucial depending on your research goals and the nature of the information you're after. That's a wrap on today's topic. Whether you're jotting down concepts or wearing the lab coat, remember both research types have their own charm and utility. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and until next time, stay curious.